Michael here at drawingteachers.com. We're going to do the name Nicola, N-I-C-O-L-A, and uh, that is six letters right there is the center of that. So we're going to have O-L-A, and we'll back up and we'll have N-I-C right there. So let's go ahead, and in this case, we're just going to do bubble letter, sort of sort of the traditional uh, simple style where we're going to just use bubbly shapes to go around the pieces and then we'll just connect that up like that and the O so you make that C a little bigger there and that L it can overlap there and the A going to be a little bit bigger. So something like that. And let's make the center of these, we'll make them into that kind of center where we kind of, it's almost like we have four ovals cutting around there like that. All right. Now this is pretty simple. You just follow the shape and you can follow these little bumps or you can smooth them out but I like to follow the little bumps and I'm letting that C overlap there and we're just going to draw that center in like that bump bump like that come down here around this is just like the O in the A and there we have a bubbly letter Nicola let's clean off the uh, pencil marks whoa that eraser really grabs hold of that paper. You gotta hold on tight. Hope I didn't startle anybody there. I think I lost my pencil. But I'll find it uh, for the next video. Okay, so let's do a fairly tight border on that. I like to emphasize each little bump if I can. Like that right there. Go ahead and let that be part of it. And for this, I'm going to come around here and use my wrist like that. All right. Now, what else can we do with this? Well, let's add something around it. Let's add some. Let's add some stars. Some crazy little bursts and some dots. Keeping these real loose and free. And now we'll do a little, little uh, reflection or shadow effect here. And uh, we need that Nicola to pop out of there. So I think we need to do some shading in here. If I can find my pencil real quick. Just hang with me. There it is. Shot it right off the paper. And uh, we're going to shade this in right here.
around inside these and I think that really helps it spring out there and then we'll do some highlight shapes with the pencil on here so they don't get too dark make these kind of spiky to go along with those harsh shapes in there there we go make it feel like the stars and uh, looking pretty cool so uh, you can have more fun with this but we're gonna call this done for now